welcome back to the 2015-2016 season of Dash's All Access. Tonight we're taking on the River Drivers. But before we do that, let's take you back to what happened in the off-season of the FHL. This is what the FHL looked like last season. Funny how much things can change in a few months. Five teams out, five new teams in. Tell us a little bit about the league. Who are going to be some of the better teams? Brewster or Danbury? Danbury. Brewster! Danbury. Danbury. We're very excited about a new chapter in, in hockey history. Are you ready for some great hockey fun? Join me, Joe Pace. You're doing this community a service. You are part of our culture. Uh, this is our first year. My goal in this is to tell them and explain to them, hey, look, those guys don't play here anymore. These people came to watch you play. We've got the Bulldogs. We've got hockey. We're very excited. Different teams, new locations, fresh faces. That's what happens in the FHL every offseason. The Dashers are no different. Let's take you to the lineups of this year's 2015-2016 Dashers. On defense, we've got Ali Shapitson, Brad Denny, Cole Hutchinson, Scott Morongel, Zachary Zamora, and Mark Corbet. That forward, we've got Justin Brazen, Ray Tremblay, Andrew Harrison, Grant Holliday, Daniel Turgeon, Garrett Sarges, Brent Clark, AJ Tesserero, Justin Lavac, and Webby Darge. At goalie, we've got Dalton McGrath and Matt Anthony. Those will be the players wearing the orange and black for your Danville Dashers this season. Walking through the tunnel is a time-honored tradition in sports. One that the Dashers did a lot last season, almost all the way to the Commissioner's Cup title. Well, let's do it again. Let's see if we can win it this year. Let's see how they did in their first game of the 2015-2016 season. This season opener would prove to be a great night for the city of Danville. Things got started eight minutes into the first period with this impressive rebound by forward Andrew Harrison. The assists go to both Brad Denny and Grant Holiday here as we take another look at this great opportunity made. And Harrison gets the season started off right against Berlin. The Dashers would continue with this shot from Garrett Sarges. Dashers took a quick 2 to nothing lead. Second period would see the River Drivers fight back as Ludlow Harris takes the puck up ice. Mark Corbet attempts to stop him, but to no avail. And goalie Matt Anthony was just a little too far out. The score is 2-1. to one. Danville gets back on attack as Holiday takes the puck around the net. Zach Zamora sees an opportunity and fires, but just as there is a scramble for the puck, Garrett Sargis taps it in for his second goal of the game. Proving that there is never a time to rest in hockey, Brent Clark scores the Dashers' fourth goal only 36 seconds after Sargis. Your Danville Dashers would defeat the Berlin River Drivers 4-2 in their 2015-16 season opener. Our second star tonight is scoring first goal number 13, Andrew Berzo. And our first star tonight scoring two goals tonight from the Danville Dashers number 15, Garrett I'm sitting here with Coach Harrison. Coach, how are we doing tonight? Well, I'm great. You know, anytime you win, it's a, it's a bonus for us. And uh, uh, we have uh, the best thing I like is we've got a lot of room for improvement. Uh, the guys worked hard and, and uh, they got us the points, but as I said, we've got a lot of room for improvement. But you know what? Uh, the first game, big crowd. Uh, I, I think everything went pretty well. Yeah, it did. Uh, you had uh, 1,700 people here or so, uh, roughly in attendance, and you put up four goals. Now, putting up four goals at the opening game of the season is not unheard of per se, but it, it's uncommon in the FHL, right. especially since a lot of there's a lot of uh, first game jitters right. and things of that nature. So, um, how do you attribute uh, Garrett Sarge's performance? Particularly with two goals. Well, given. I, I just think you know he, he's got a lot of skill, and, and 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 he's a big part of our hockey team. And you know he can, he, he made it simple here tonight a couple of times. He got it and just shot instead of worrying about making the perfect pass. And uh, 
uh, you know, when you do certain things like that, that really helps out. So, you know, when, when we did play well tonight, I was really impressed. And then there was other times where uh, we kind of got away from our game. But, you know, like a guy like Sarge there, like, you know, he, he just tried to make it really simple. And that's what we our goal was before the game, uh, really simple. And, uh, I always say simple, stupid. But uh, when, when you do that, especially early on in the season, like, as you say, big crowd, jitters, uh, you know, it, some guys haven't been to a lot of training camp, so we, we tried to make it really simple, but uh, Sarge really stood out to me. Now, um, Tremblay had three assists in the game, mm -hmm. which is a monster stat, especially right. when you scored four goals. Right. Um, was did you do a lot of work in the off season on offense, or was it just kind of a special well, night? You know, I just think I, I, I'm very fortunate. I got I got a lot of skill up front. A lot of guys that can make plays and, and, and raise one of those types of players. That uh, he, he's a very quiet guy. I feel the way I watch him play, you don't really notice him sometimes. But you know, those are the guys that all of a sudden at the end of the game they scored three points. So uh, I'm very fortunate that he wanted to come back and play, and, and uh, uh, he's been a big part in the dressing room. But also, he, as you see tonight, he's, he's going to be a big asset for us. Um, Clark also came uh, came, I believe, out of retirement right. to play. Um, what's it like to have an assistant uh, coach? Also, be a player and have them out on the ice. Well, you know it's good. Like, I mean, he, he, he's kind of the guy, uh, the, the voice in the dressing room of me, and uh, he's done a great job. He's hurting a little bit uh, right now, so I, I don't know if anyone really saw his full potential. But yeah, he's going to be a big part of our hockey team come down the stretch, not just on the ice but off the ice. And uh, that, that's the thing I like the most is is our camaraderie and our, and, and our team as being a, a, a unit here. And uh, that's what you need to move forward. All right, hopefully this 4-2 victory will set the pace going forward. Uh, thank you so much for your time tonight, Coach, and we uh, we hope for more victories in well, the future. So do I, and I, I really like to thank you guys for being here tonight. It's a great show, so thanks. All right, well, thank you. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Since their season opener, your Danville Dashers have been successful on the road, shutting out the Port Huron Prowlers 6 to nothing. Their next game will be against the Brewster Bulldogs on Brewster Ice on November 13th and against the River Drivers in Berlin on the 14th and then your Dashers return to the David S. Palmer Arena on November 20th to once again face the Brewster Bulldogs. Thanks for watching Dashers All Access. This year we're going to be in full swing. We'll be here for every game. We're going to give you every stat, every recap, everything you'd ever want to know about the Dashers we're going to give you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Pepper.